All right, so if you're following along on the Taylor Room update, this will be my mother's dresser. I'm getting ready to sand the top, get it all ready for some stain. I've already done a quick scuff sand on the cabinets and the dresser drawer fronts. This thing is a bit of a mess, but in good condition as far as being structurally sound. Except for I'm noticing something on that drawer over there that I'm gonna have to fix. So I'm going to finish sanding the top and give it a good clean and stain and then we can paint. And it's gonna be in the same trend as all the other things that we've done for this project so that it's a matching bedroom set. All right, I got everything cleaned. Um, the pieces on its back because it'll be easier to paint everything that way and then I'll flip it upright and finish doing it so that I make sure I didn't miss anything. And then previously I had cast, I was missing this piece of hardware here. So I took a cast of this, created a mold, and um, so now I have this piece here. So I'm gonna put this piece on and this piece on, and I've got a couple others here that I'm leaving on because they'll get painted into the piece. Um, and then there's a couple more pieces of hardware right there. Um, they're going to get painted into the piece, and then the rest of the hardware is going to be painted uh, copper because that is the metal color that we're using. So I'm gonna get these guys on here and get to painting. All right, the top on this bad boy is making me seriously angry. It's not sanding right. It's not doing what I want it to. So I'm going to put this one on. And so I have the cut lines here. I'm gonna cut it out and then get it all attached. And then we'll stain that instead because I just was not happy with the other one. As you can see, I've got all kinds of, there's a block here <laughs> and a pot in there and tables upside down on holding the new tabletop on that I have gluing right now. So that's getting handled. Getting the second coat of paint on here. Sorry, focus. Yeah, so it's going nicely. This drawer I still can't get out, so I'm just painting around it, which is fine. Would it be easier if I could get it out? Of course, but you know. You do what you can with what you have. So that's what we're doing. And these little guys are just the easiest things to paint around. So yeah, I'm finishing this up and then I'm gonna let it sit and dry and let the top dry and come back, make sure it's on there good, and then we'll deal with the top and make sure it looks good and stain it to match everything else. And that's what we're doing today. But today's supposed to be super, super hot. So I'm hoping that helps with the drying of the tabletop. It does not help with painting. So painting now, and I'll let it sit out in the sun. And then this evening I'll come back and do everything else that needs to get done in cooler weather. I went ahead and sprayed these a light copper slash rose gold color just because the brass was going to be too strong for the copper gilding wax. So those are drying. Everything's drying. I'm getting ready to head in. The top's drying. Did a little fill around the edge to make it clean and neat. So yep, I'll be back out in a few hours. We're getting ready to finish up on the dresser, but these started blooming and they're just so lovely. I thought you'd want to see. They don't even look real. Just pink and purple and yellow and green. Top's ready to go. I just have my rag for staining. So we're gonna stain it and then wipe it back to see, to hope, we're gonna hope that it doesn't absorb too much of this dark because I don't need it quite this dark, but let's just do a test spot. That's really dark. Yeah. Oh no, we're good. That will be perfect. All right, so we're gonna go through, stain this top and uh, wipe it all back. Had a change of heart. So I was going to do these two drawers here that go inside the cabinets with the floral print paper. Now, I'm going to do a stencil on those with the copper to match the outside. And I'm doing papers on each of these guys, still leaving 
those ones would just because the, the top got a little darker than I would like and these guys wouldn't stain evenly over here. So papers, stencil, those will stay wood because they still look really great. And then the top is that color. So with that, I think everything will look great. This is the biggest part because you have to cut them rounds. These would have been super easy to decoupage because you just kind of cut a general size, lay it on top, and then you can use a blade to cut around the edges and they're crisp and clean and perfect. These are a pain and that's initially why I didn't want to do them this way because I knew it's so much more difficult cutting these to fit perfectly in there. But I mean, it's just, it's going to look better and I'll feel better about it in the end. So that's the route we're going. And it's, I mean, it's going to make the piece so much better. So I didn't film me cutting out any of those because I don't want you to see me throw a fit in real life. Because that, that happens when I'm cutting out shapes for decoupage, which I do far more than I should. See, so yeah, I know I'm just going to get these guys adhered on here. I just use poly and lay a layer down, stick the paper on top, and then all the drawers can be polyed after that as well. All right, so throwing these guys on, loading it up with poly, because I like to make sure that it seats out the sides to make sure it has a really good secure hold. So, here we go. Make sure you really get it around the edges, because that's gonna be, of course, the first place that it's gonna lift. I've got these guys cut out. They're not exact, but once you get these in, you can take a blade and run around and make them fit perfectly or as perfect as humanly possible, which I suppose is not that perfect at all. And then from the center out, you want to push. Make sure you get all your bubbles pushed out. And wallpaper is super, super easy to do because it's so thick and it doesn't stretch like a lot of other things and it doesn't tear. So it's like the easiest medium to work with when you're doing decoupage. And then the parts that are high, you're just gonna crease, and then you can take the blade and run it along. It'll pop out, and then it fits in perfectly. See? And then I'm just gonna go all the way around this whole piece, get any excess that's left over, and then I'll end up polying all around. You can actually poly over the top of the wallpaper too. So this whole drawer is going to get polyed after this along with the rest of the dresser. So I forgot to film as per usual, but I've just got the first stencil done on this and it is gorgeous. So we've got this guy here and I'm getting ready to do, I'm going to do the exact same stencil. I was thinking about going upside down, but I just really like how the flowers curve up around this. So I think I'm just going to keep them exactly the same, but that way it's going to be a fun little little pop of something inside here. Okay, I'm gonna get back to stenciling. It is boiling lava hot out here and I'm sweating. So sorry, I'm not gonna film this either. All right, I just quickly wanted to show you the difference in gilding from this piece to this piece. And then, you know, we'll gild one on camera as per usual because I can't not gild them on camera. It just, it makes me so happy. Okay, so we'll get this guy to match his little twin. I feel like it's just so much happier with its life as soon as it's gilded.
no. All right, then I'm gonna hit up all these and put on some hardware, I think. All right, here she is in all her glory. It looks so beautiful. I'm very excited for this piece to be finished. It is the last piece I had to do for my parents' um, room makeover. So you can see all the gilding wax just really stepped up the game. The hardware is in kind of a coppery rose gold finish. And then we have these guys here, all beautiful inside. I may actually go through and deepen up these doors because they're just not quite not quite dark enough for my liking but I at least have mostly everything finished I'm gonna work on the drawers to make sure they slide a little more easily and smoothly and then this piece is ready to get loaded up with everything else for a trip down to California feel free to like subscribe all that I'm trying to you know grow a YouTube channel here no big deal and I'll see you guys next week